Survivors, servicemen, and veterans who were victims of any sort of toxic exposure during their service can now receive support under the PACT Act. Our Lily Quinn Minor went to Colchester and has the story of how those impacted are getting help filing their claims. That water was everything to us. And, uh, and that water is the reason a lot of us are dead today. This is John Laramie. John served from 77 to 80 in the Marshall Islands on a task force that cleaned nuclear debris from atomic bomb tests. Every day we went out to different islands and cleaned up nuclear debris. We all did six month stints. They wouldn't allow us any longer than that because they were afraid it was too contaminated there. There was no protective gear or protective clothing used. The water John and his fellow servicemen used to drink, bathe, and survive from was desalinated water from the lagoon they worked in. While the salt was removed, the nuclear contamination was not. Our first guy, he died at 24 years old. And it was radiation that killed him, and it was documented by his doctors. Um, since then, out of the 8,033 of us that served there, there's less than 700 of us alive. Most of us have died of cancers. Even now, to this day, none of us have received even one nickel of compensation for any of the work we did in these islands. But that might not be the case for much longer. At Camp Johnson, the Army National Guard base in Colchester, veterans, service members, and survivors gathered to meet with veterans affairs officials and doctors. There they were screened and were assisted in filing claims to receive benefits, services, and care under the newly established PACT Act. We had 80 people that pre-registered for the event already. I think it's about 10, 15, and we've had 30 more people show up that didn't pre-register. Uh, we're expecting a lot more. The PACT Act expands eligibility and enrollment for veterans who are exposed to toxic um, chemicals and various things throughout their military career, going back all the way to Vietnam-era veterans. Uh, through the post 9-11 era right now. Veterans aren't the only ones who can receive VA related assistance. So unfortunately if we have anybody that has lost a loved one due to any of the conditions that would be covered by PACT Act or any other disability related to service, they can file a claim and we have a benefit called dependency and indemnity compensation which is for surviving spouses and eligible dependents of veterans. This won't be the final event for PACT Act assistance. The VA is encouraging people that need help filing their claims to continue reaching out. Um, anybody that has any kind of question or concern, we are highly encouraging you to come and file a claim. We'd be happy to answer any questions that you have and just be able to make sure that you are in receipt of the benefits that you've earned. Now with this help, John and his fellow servicemen may finally receive assistance. We're just so frustrated because it's been so long. And now with this PAC Act bill, we are a part of it. And we want people to finally hear us and to listen to us. The Department of Veterans Affairs says they do plan to host more events like this in the future. In Colchester, Lily Quinn Minor, Channel 3 News.